everybody. Welcome into Studio 3 for the preview show refreshed by Coca-Cola. I'm Alex Weaver here with Jonathan Merriman. Truex, back to back. You know what happens when drivers go back to back with wins in the playoffs? They most likely win the championship. Yeah, I mean, you look at what Martin Truex Jr. and Cole Pern are doing. I mean, have we not learned our lesson? I mean, we talked about it in Vegas. No one saw that <laughs> coming, but I mean, you kind of get this feeling that these guys are hitting their stride. They're always really good in the playoffs. And who says they can't get three in a row? We all know the position that Martin was in last year at the Roval after uh, being gently moved by Jimmy Johnson spinning. Um, so those guys have a chip on their shoulder. Watch out this weekend. I think MTJ and Cole Pern don't want anybody to pick them ever because they yeah, win when yeah, that happens. Exactly. All right, let's look ahead to the Roval this weekend. I know it's an exciting weekend. It's always a mysterious weekend, but for the Coca-Cola racing family, Two guys that I think are in the clear, Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin. Yeah, for those two guys, it's easy. Stay out of trouble. Just finish this race. You should be okay. But we all know how these guys are. If they can smell blood in the water and they <laughs> think they can go up there and get a couple stage points and get a win, they probably will try to do that. Just remember, last year, Joey Logano's teammate, Brad Keselowski, he quote-unquote led everybody off of a cliff last year going into turn one. Huge pileup. That's what you want to avoid this weekend, yeah, Alex. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what about Kyle Larson and Ryan Newman? The other side, who they tend to be good in points, but you have a rough day at the Roval. You could change that. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, the road course at Charlotte is just a crazy thing, right? We all saw last year Kyle Larson makes it in by the skin of his teeth, going into NASCAR, turn four, hits the wall, goes through the chicane, hits the wall coming out of the chicane, makes his way past the stalled Jeffrey Earnhardt machine, ends up being good by one point. And, man, Ryan Newman can't talk about this guy enough. His run at Richmond, he put himself back inside of the round of 12 talk. He's ninth in points right now. He's to the good. I think he's got to get a couple stage points. He's got to finish top 10, top 15. I think the six car will be good. I'm super impressed with what they were able to do. And we all know Newman can be a thorn in everyone's <laughs> side. Not who you want to see in your rearview mirror if he needs a couple points at the Roval. Right. We talked about him the other day, and he's just the guy that won't go away. So if he just keeps having those runs... Who knows that's, what Newman That's can his do. M.O. I mean, he's a, he's a blue-collar race car driver, and he will get after you. Yeah, well, last year at the Roval, we talked about that finish. I think we're still talking about it. Ryan Blaney gets the win, but we didn't think he was going to get the win. You and I were standing together last season when that happened. Can he win again? I think he can. I mean, I think if you look at the 12 team, I think they're a little bit overdue for a win. But one thing that they do do well they put themselves in position last year at the Roval. It was a perfect example. They had themselves in position where if something unpredictable happened, they would be the benefactor of that. And guess what? It happened. He won the race, got his second ever win in the Cup Series. And uh, Ryan, me and him go back and forth a little bit because, you know, I kind of oh, joked with do him. It again. I joked with him at Sonoma, like, man, you're not the best road course racer. He's like, well, I did win the Roval. Yeah. So he's been running really well at the road courses he puts himself in position i think if they can have a clean race and he can be there at the end he certainly knows how to get around there you just don't run yes. third at a track for the first time without being good there the other two names mentioned in that incident were jimmy johnson and martin truex jr is this Jimmy's last chance to win this season? I don't think it's Jimmy's last chance to win because we do have Martinsville coming up on the schedule and Jimmy on mile and a half hasn't been awful. Him and Cliff Daniels are kind of turning the, the corner there. But I think if you look at how he ran here last year, being in contention, I think, I don't know if it necessarily haunts Jimmy Johnson. He's got 83 wins. If there's one thing that's going to haunt him over the past couple of years, this may be it. But I just don't think, like I talked about with Ryan Blaney, you just don't luck into a good finish at a track for the first time. You know, you have to have skill to run the Roval and run that well. And he was hanging up there with Martin Truex Jr. last year. One little miscalculation. I mean, he was pushing. He was trying to win that race. You can't blame him for it. Ended up keeping him out of the round of 12 last year. So yeah. I think he has a chip on his shoulder. Martin Truex Jr. has a chip on his shoulder. He wants to go three in a row. Could he go three in a row? I think he can go three in a row, but I think more importantly, he wants to kind of not necessarily vindicate himself because we all know he's an excellent race car driver. He's got and 20, the road course ace. 25 wins. Yeah, best road course racer this season, I think. So, you know, him and Cole Pern, they really want to sweep the round of 16 here. All right, well, the Roval is coming. It's Roval week. Who you got? Oh, man, oh, man. 
I can't mean, believe I'm letting you go first. How can you not pick Martin Truex I knew Jr.? You were gonna take it. But oh, I can't pick it. I'm not gonna pick Martin Truex Jr. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my buddy Blaney and uh, and and try to try to make good with him because you know he's mad at me because oh, I said you're he wasn't. Sucking a, up now. Yeah. No, I mean I think they're in a good position. I think you know he wants to go out and validate that win from last year, um, get himself in position to to make that next round. Well, speaking of validating from last year, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the door that you just left wide open. I'm taking the 19 Martin Truex Jr. He's gonna be hard to beat for sure. Three in a row. Let's see if he can make it happen. All right, that's coming up. The Roval, America's Home for Racing at Charlotte Motor Speedway, Sunday, 2.30 on NBC. We'll see you guys right back here next week.